So Light Tracker just came out, and what this is is a lightweight model that can track points on tissues, which is suitable for robotic surgery. So you can see all of these different color points are spaced apart, which gives you dense tracking of all the points on the tissue. So this is really good if your body is moving up and down when you're breathing, for example, during surgery, or if, you know, right here in the middle, you could see there's two manipulators. So this is remotely controlled by a user using a joystick, and these are robotic arms that's inside the body trying to cut the tissue. So what this happens is when you have a user that's pulling on the tissue, you can see in the middle here, the tissue is moving. So you can see that even though it's moving around, all the points on the tissue is being tracked. So this is really good if you want to do any sort of estimation of how the tissue is moving for things like 3D visualization or different AI methods that you want to implement. So this right here is the name of the paper. You can go ahead and check it out, but it's called Light Tracker Leveraging Temporal Causality for Accurate Low Latency Tissue Tracking. So one of the key features of this paper is the low latency, low latency aspect. So as you guys know that a lot of the tracker methods out there are pretty heavy weights. So you can see this is a comparison right now showing the latency in milliseconds here. And you can see Light Tracker is on par to be one of the best ones out there compared with the different trackers. Like right here, there's TrackOn, CoTracker 3 from Meta that came out recently too. There's the Online Boost uh, Tapper and then the MFTIQ and the MFT. So you can see that if you want very low latency, which is important for things like robotic surgery, then this might be a good option for you to consider or even any other low latency applications, you could probably check it out and see how their method can apply. But you can see here, this is the architecture. So right here on the left, you have your frame inputs from your video that goes into an encoder CNN. We have the query features. You do some correlation for feature extraction, but the key part that allows it to be lightweight and fast is they've implemented here the temporal memory buffer here up on top. And this will do some update in the memory and retrieve features, which will optimize some of the handling of the data. And then after that, it gets passed into the temporal and spatial attention, which then gives you the final output of the colorful track points that we see right here. So that's kind of the workflow. You could go ahead and read this paper to dig into the details. So you can also come here to their GitHub. It's going to be light-tracker. So this is their official repo with the code. You could go ahead and download it, pip install with the requirements, try running their inference to see how it works for your application. And if you're new to my channel, I have a bunch of resources on robotics and AI. I've been thinking of starting up a membership, so I'm very curious to see what you guys think. I'll leave a quick survey in the video description, but go ahead and check it out and join my membership if you want some more deep dive in some of the robotic projects that I've been doing. So I'll be diving into the details of mechanical and software design so you can actually know exactly how to implement it by yourself. All right, that's it for today, and make sure to hit that subscribe button.